Well, big changes at Uber following the resignation of CEO Travis Kalanick. Tracy Carrasco joining us now with the latest. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, ladies. Now, the story continues. Venture capitalist Bill Gurley, whose firm Benchmark Capital was one of Uber's earliest investors, is stepping down from the ride-hailing company's board of directors. His departure comes just one day after the resignation of troubled CEO Travis Kalanick. Insiders say Gurley is one of the five investors that led the revolt against Kalanick and pressured him to step down. On Tuesday, Gurley tweeted, quote, there will be many pages in the history books devoted to at Travis K. Very few entrepreneurs have had such a lasting impact on the world. Benchmark has a large stake in Uber since first leading an $11 million financing into Uber in 2011. Gurley is being replaced by his benchmark colleague, Matt Kohler. Kohler's appointment to the board could be helpful in wooing Uber's top pick for Kalanick's replacement. Topping the list of choices for new CEO, Sheryl Sandberg, the current COO of Facebook. But she has reportedly taken her name out of the running along with board director Ariana Huffington. Other rumored candidates include former Ford CEO Alan Mullally, longtime American Airlines executive David Cush, Susan Wojcicki, CEO of YouTube, Marissa Meyer, former CEO of Yahoo, and Thomas Staggs, former COO of Disney. Fox Business's Charlie Gasparino spoke to one of Uber's chief capital investors who sees big prospects for the future of the company. They, he says, quote, the line of the line is out the door of world-class candidates. You're talking someone who could make $1 billion when it IPOs. With a valuation of nearly $70 billion, there has been recent speculation as to whether Uber will follow Snap's lead in public trading. All right, so obviously the competition is watching this lift. One of the bigger names mm -hmm. that seems to be maybe benefiting a little bit from all of this drama at Uber. Absolutely. They've stayed out of the spotlight. Their uh, ride share, they've seen an increase you know, over the past few months. Consumer favorability for Uber is at a record low. Consumers are choosing Lyft. They're choosing other options right now. And app downloads, you know, those are up as well for Lyft. All right. And all of this happening in just a few months Absolutely. to show you that there's a sudden reaction to the culture problems mm -hmm. at the company. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you.